and I'm a jewelry specialist. Awesome, I love your style and tell me what you're wearing. So this dress is thrifted. These are Loewe sneakers, thrifted bag, Alexander McQueen scarf, and dinosaur design jewelry, and then thrifted sunglasses. <laughs> Beautiful, so uh, tell me your favorite uh, vintage store in New York City. Favorite vintage store? Oh my God, I don't know. I usually do like, I have a lot of friends that do secondhand. They, they do stuff online. So I usually buy stuff online that's thrifted, um, vintage, but I don't know any around the, the, yeah, around the city. I've heard a lot about different places like Tokyo 7 and stuff like that, um, but I'm not really sure. I usually get online stuff, yeah. Do you have any specific platform that you go to? Actually, it's Twitter. Um, ironically, one of my friends, she, she puts stuff that she sources online and a lot of other people online they do like stuff that they source and then they just post photos with the price and that's how i do that so yeah that's pretty cool all right so um who is your favorite designers so um one of my friends his name is dj so he has a brand that's called duality junkie so that's my favorite designer right now i wear his stuff most of the time he has a spiral skirt that i wear all the time i'm surprised i don't have it on today but yeah i love him he's an, uh, an up-and-coming designer so that's my favorite designer <laughs> awesome all right and what inspired your fashion um i feel like i take a lot of inspiration from my childhood uh I have a lot of different people that I'm inspired by. I'm inspired by my friends a lot as well. So I have a little bit of their style kind of intertwined with mine. Um, also the brand that I work for too, my friends that I work with, they play around with their jewelry and things like that. And I take inspiration from them all the time. Even people on the street, I get a lot of inspiration from them. So that's where I get a lot of my inspiration from. <laughs> What's your name and what do you do for a living? Uh, my name is Igor and I'm a uh, artist and musician, DJ, producer, composer. Awesome. Um, what genre do you play? Um, it kind of varies. It goes between like techno, industrial, punk, grunge, and rock, I would say. That's pretty cool. All right. So tell me what you're wearing. Uh, today I'm wearing full Rick. I'm wearing an Edfu top. Um, I'm wearing a Python bag. Yeah. Just some simple shorts and uh, some combat boots. Awesome. All right. So um, where do you get your fashion inspiration? Um, I would say just from like everyday life, seeing people, uh, architecture, um, and, and just kind of absorbing things around you. What's your name and what do you do for a living? My name is Farrow of Fashion, a.k.a. Cult, Create Unique Lucrative Things. And I'm a fashion designer. I'm a paradigm shifter, a trendsetter, and I'm currently a security guard. All right, so tell me about your brand. Okay, so my brand is a mental health brand. It's called Social Dissection, powered by cult, powered by creating unique, lucrative things. So it's pretty much just to challenge thought and perception and ideology. So like I said, powered by cult. When you initially hear the word cult, right, it sounds kind of outlandish and bizarre. And then when I tell you the acronym, you kind of might want to join, create unique, lucrative things. So. Just like my brand is to challenge thought and perception and to open up different lane avenues of concepts and, and thought, that's what I did to that acronym, to that word. So I just took a word that's like, whoa, and then it's like, yeah, after you break it down. Great style. So tell me what you're wearing from head to toe. So for the most part, I'm wearing my brand. I have social dissection. This is the first sample trucker hat, yin yang, black and white safety pins. And then this little, feel me, intricate safety pin right here. Um, I have a social dissection t-shirt. This is the first graphic from the brand. This is the depression deleters tee, hence why it has the desktop and the hand basically crushing all the depression that the internet might cause people. Because, you know, sometimes the internet makes us conscious of ourselves and what we do and say and how we interact with our friends. So, and then these are the track pants right here. I got some Vans, Vans vaults, and I added some little accessories. You know, I'm an individual. Every day, I gotta be myself. Uh, this is a number nine jacket. Where did you get the number nine jacket? Um, this was thrifted from a vintage store. Um, the bras are for breast cancer awareness. I'm actually, girls have actually given them to me. So this was given to me, this was given to me, 
This was given to me. My mom went six rounds with chemo, and she actually was cured on the third month of the year. So hence why I'm wearing three right now. And I always wear a pink one because that's the symbol for breast cancer, pink. So everything with me is really detailed and intricate. You have to have an open mind to understand. If not, sorry, can't really help you. It's 2023 if your mind isn't open. That's what social dissection is for. I'll get to you soon. What's your name and what do you do for a living? Hi, my name's Lily. I'm a student and filmmaker. <laughs> I'm Vera. I'm a student and a visual artist. Awesome, I love your style. It's in New York. And tell me what you're wearing. I'm wearing uh, some clothes. I'm wearing uh, some jeans from Tommy Hilfiger that I got from Reformation Vintage. This was from The Real Real. It's a Prada. This is Zara tank top. This is my friend Alex, Alex Blum. Shout out. Shout out. <laughs> uh, that's me. Oh, the shoes are Steve Madden. Yeah. What's your favorite uh, vintage store in New York City? You know, we just went to Rogue. Rogue that was great. So, I'll go with that. Yeah. Oh, so what are you wearing today? Okay. Yeah. So we got on this Tintin shirt. I think it's from Uniqlo, but my friend Lily gave it to me. Shout out Lily. Other Lily. Other, not, di this, not one. this Lily. Um, this is a skirt that I also thrifted from BB, like B-E-B-E. -E. Uh, these socks are my mom's. And the shoes are from like this mall in England. And they just kind of, I was kind of inspired by Lily Rose death a little bit when I got them. Yeah, and this bag is also thrifted. Awesome. So what inspired your fashion? I'd say my grandma. I wear a lot of her stuff and things that are either comfortable and make me feel great. Yeah. How about you? I definitely draw inspiration from everywhere and just steal like ideas that I like and just put it on myself. Definitely Jane Birkin, though, with her basket bag. Go. <laughs> Shout out Jane Birkin. Shout out Jane Birkin. RIP, she just died. So. What's your name and what do you do for a living? Uh, my name is Mauricio. I'm uh, a gallery associate at a contemporary art gallery on the Bowery. Great. So what you're wearing today? Um, I'm wearing a Hanes Eco Smart crew neck. Uh, it's $8. I've had it for like maybe like six or seven years. I'm wearing a Calvin Klein tee vintage that I bought online, also for I think like $12. Uh, J. Crew pants, it's like the giant wear, uh, but I've kind of removed the cuffs off the bottom uh, so it fits better. I have uh, waffle racers. These are Nikes, the Green Nebula. Uh, it's my third pair, actually. I love this shoe, so I keep buying it. And then my socks are uh, from Costco, so all pretty, pretty simple wear. Where'd you get your Calvin Klein t-shirts? Uh, this is my only one. I think I must have gotten it off like eBay. Um, also a few years back, it was just, uh, since it's vintage, it was really cheap. Where do you shop online? Um, I guess mostly eBay, Depop, uh, Mercari. Uh, those are like the three main ones. Oh, all right. So where do you get your fashion inspiration? I think it's a lot of it's like a combination between like streetwear and sportwear. I'm like really influenced by soccer culture, especially from like the late 90s and early 2000s. Um, you know, Nike used to have a division called Total 90, which made shoes similar to this. Um, and I kind of try to combine that while also looking, you know, presentable for work. What's your name and what do you do for a living? My name is Ty and I model. Awesome. All right. Um, so what are you wearing today? I, this is all thrifted. I have some Yeezys on, um, some vintage coach, and then my Prada shades, you know. <laughs> I love it. Are you in shopping? Yes, yes. I had to make a little piss up at Bloomingdale's. Um, I got a little, a little perfume today, you know. <laughs> I love the perfume. It smells so good. It's, it's so luxe. Highly recommend, yeah. How does the New York Street style influence your fashion? I mean, I've only lived here for a little bit, but it's just, it's so great to see how people really express themselves on the street. I feel really safe here, feel that I can dress how I want. Um, and you know, I have 
I'm obviously very femme, so, you know, it's nice that I can go outside and dress how I want to be and not feel like I'm going to be judged, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. What's your name and what do you do? Uh, my name is V. I'm, I, I just graduated from FIT. I'm a fashion designer. Awesome. All right. So love your outfit and tell me what you're wearing. So I'm wearing Boris Magenta Berry. It's an avant-garde brand. Um, my skirt is Yoji Yamamoto and my shoes are Geo Basket from Rick Owens. And my rings, uh, this is from another avant-garde brand, uh, Vexed Out Moonkin. And so is the necklace. Oh, the bag is actually from Koss. Awesome. All right. Do you have any favorite designers? Uh, probably, I, I do love Yoji Yamamoto and Boris Magenta Berry. I really love the avant-garde scene, so I really like all, all the avant-garde uh, fashion designers. Awesome. Uh, where do you shop online? Um, I shop at Atelier New York, or sometimes I do shop at Real Reels for some other pieces, archival pieces and everything. So, yeah. My last question, where do you get your fashion inspiration? Uh, I, my whole parents dress like this, so I got a lot of inspiration from my parents. What's your name and what do you do for a living? Hello, my name is Makan. Uh, I'm a fashion marketing student at Baruch College. Tell me what you're wearing. Uh, so what I'm wearing is kind of a sailor outfit. Uh, I take like nautical inspiration. So right here is uh, my brother's top that I got from the military. And right down here I got some vintage sailor pants. And down here I got the Ron Closet Derbies. Uh, they have like a zip so it's not like a regular leather shoe. So really proud of those pieces. And I got my cost leather bag over here and I got my AirPods because, you know, music. Oh, and the jewelry. Um, this is a ring my mother got me. Uh, this was something I just found on eBay. And here we have a German nickel uh, ring. Uh, I got it from a trip to Montreal, so uh, really appreciate that.